Welcome so much for joining us. I really appreciate you tuning in today. There's a lot of football games on, a lot of sunny skies out there. A lot of good stuff happening, a lot of bad stuff happening as well. You have a lot of choices out there in the media, and I appreciate folks being concerned about what's happening in the world. We are broadcasting worldwide. It's 4 o'clock Central Standard Time already. Already, hard to believe, the 6th day of September 2015. And we will be live here, my friends, for the next two hours as we are every Sunday. Every day I start the broadcast, and I'm just honest with you. Wow, we got a lot of news. And usually I cover about 20% of it. Some days I cover 60%, 70% of it. Every once in a while I cover 90-something percent of it. Today's one of the days I really should cover all of it. Because when you look at this world, there are two types of people when you boil it all down. There's different subgroups, but there's dogs and there's cats. And I got this article right here out of the National Post your cat doesn't love you, scientific studies show. I don't need a scientific study to show me that my cat, and I do have one cat and two dogs, does not love me. It only wants to pretend I'm its mother and make biscuits on my stomach in an infantile manner. But it could care less if I fell down and died tomorrow. It doesn't have anxiety when I'm gone, except it wants to bitch and gripe and ask for food. It wants a free handout. My dogs, on the other hand, would basically die and have heart attacks if something happened to me. And that's clear. And it's that spiritual connection. It's that honorableness of the dog, which isn't perfect, but it has honor. Silly and ignorant, but has guts and guts is enough, is why I'm a dog person and not a cat person. And people out there think they're getting ahead being cat people. Folks that think they're getting ahead not caring about other folks. You think you're cool, only caring about yourself. You're an idiot. It's like people that get in a hot tub and take a crap. And I hate to be gross here, but you think you're getting away with it. Go to the bathroom. When you crap on everyone else, you're crapping on yourself. And these are just elementary understandings here. Cats are not pack animals unless you look at lions in Africa and they still feed on each other. Dogs are creatures of honor, first and foremost. And if I had to have an archetypal totem animal, it would be the dog. Uh, cats are cute, cats are funny, but make no mistake, they won't be there for you when you're in a jam. And if somebody comes in your house and attacks you, they're not going to stand up for you. Dogs will. You don't hear about cops going to people's houses and shooting their cats, do you? It's the dog because they're not cowards. Even if they're little or they're big, they stand up because they love you. And our society is imploding because we're becoming a cat society, not a dog society. And listen, people that don't stand up for themselves, people that don't care about you, don't stand up for them. But people that are willing to stand up for you, people that have will, that's who I'm going to stand up with. Now, we got a lot of news. We're going to cover it all here today. And we've got the last three minutes of a 14-minute video I shot yesterday when the spirit of liberty, you could call it, was really upon me. The spirit of Paul Revere was strong yesterday. And I shot this video yesterday morning, total emergency alert update. The global meltdown has begun. You, you, I, I can say that with confidence now. We're going to intro with that in the next segment, and then we're going to launch straight ahead, and you ain't seen nothing yet. I'm going to put it all on the line straight ahead. Because if I don't, I'm a sellout. I've got to give my full will to liberty. I'm a piece of filth. It's Sunday. We're live broadcasting worldwide on the 6th day of September 2015. Here's the tail end of a 14-minute emergency alert I issued yesterday that's gone mega viral with millions of views on Facebook, hundreds of thousands on YouTube right now. Total emergency alert. The global financial collapse has begun. Here's the tail end of that report. So this is a total emergency alert. Planned financial crisis and global meltdown accelerating. I don't know if we can stop it. I don't know what tricks they have up their sleeves, but I study this stuff. And all I'm saying is get yourself and your family ready. Defensively, but offensively, get out there and warn people. And let me tell you, the military's waking up. Police are waking up. That's why they want us to have a civil war with them. Uh, they're not perfect by any means. But we just need to be peaceful. 
We need to promote liberty. We need to stand up for ourselves, but also people need to get firearms. They need to train with them. They need to get prepared. They need to get ready for self-defense. So that's what it comes down to, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I don't know what else to say. I'm going to post this video to Infowars.com, PrisonPlanet.com. I'm going to get it out on Facebook and Twitter. It needs to not get, you know, 1.6 million views like it got on our channel and then a couple million on, on other places. Uh, this video needs to get 50 million views. Um, I'm risking my life bringing you this intel. The enemy attacks us every day in major newspapers and TV for a reason, folks. We know what we're talking about. This isn't a game. And I am basically playing chicken with the globalist, uh, not because I want to play chicken, but because I have to for my family and for honor, going head up against these people. This is not a game. This is deadly serious. And people not taking it serious are going to allow this to come to fruition. Look in my eyes and look at the evidence. You think I'm playing games? You think the police are freaked out? You think the military's running around preparing for civil unrest and admitting they are for no reason? We have a depression this time. Tens of millions will starve to death. Seven million died during the last Great Depression for malnutrition. Look it up. University studies. This isn't a game, folks. This spoiled, rotten, decadent population out there, about half the population, will eat us alive, the producers. The giant criminal gangs that have been armed, the time bomb, you ever wondered how America would be taken down and a bunch of other countries at the same time? An organized worldwide depression with shadow, radical Islamic armies there to create the crises whenever the governments need to come in and take liberties. The government's got a decision. A lot of good people in the government. You want to be collaborators with this or you want to wake up and face the facts? The corporations, people that work in them have a decision to make. But most importantly, look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. Let's get right over here. Let's look in the mirror right here. You look in that mirror right there. Look at it. Look at that mirror right there. You need to look in that mirror. You need to ask yourselves where you stand. You need to ask yourselves what you're going to do because this is it. We don't get involved now. They're test ballooning us. They're trial ballooning us right now. They're testing. And we fail this test. They're going to bring in. You like Obamacare? You like totally open borders? You like being lectured that you can't say mom or dad or boy or girl in school? You want to live in a cult? You want to be a slave? You want to spy on every corner telling you what to do? You want to be force-fed GMOs and force-inoculated? We're already getting gang-raped. This was just the foreplay. All right, you've been warned. Total emergency alert. Get it out to everybody. We are the Paul Revere's of this age. You are the Paul Revere's of this age. Every race, color, and creed. Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com. The rest is up to you. And that is just the tail end of a 14-minute report, the last three minutes. The first 11 minutes, I break down all the news articles, the documents, the graphs. It's all detailed at Infowars.com right now if you want to see that video and then email it to friends and family to warn them. Because exposing this may stop it. I remember about six months ago as the massive immigrant waves out of North Africa and the Middle East after Saudi Arabia launched a bunch of wars against peaceful countries, as these immigrant waves hit, ISIS, which is Al-Qaeda, bragged in the news. It was in Associated Press. It was everywhere. We're using immigrant waves to hide our cells and our operatives to invade Europe and the United States. And we're going to have sleeper cells start attacking. And that's now unfolding. On Friday, ISIS issued a new video and a new statement. World Net Daily covered it. Drudge Report linked to it. So did InfoWars. ISIS smuggler. We will use refugee crisis to infiltrate West. ISIS now has more than 4,000 fighters ready throughout the European Union. Do you have any idea how much havoc? If 20 hijackers or 19 hijackers could cause the havoc you saw on 9-11, can you imagine what 4,000 can do? And yes, I'm the guy that exposes an inside job. But it's a real threat manufactured synthetically by the criminal globalist and then allowed to operate and turned loose. The average cop, the average judge, the average FBI agent is not involved. It's staged, but it's real. And I'll use the analogy for the hundredth time. If I bred a hundred black widows and hated my neighbor and went and dumped them in their bed during the day, knowing they go under the bed, but at night, they'd come out and bite them because he'd roll over on them. Did I run the Black Widows? Did I command them? Did I control them? No.
but I'm still aiding and abetting. I'm still premeditatedly trying to kill my neighbor by dumping the black widows in the bed. Do I run a rattlesnake I put under your car seat? No. But I knew what the weapon would do. And that's the difference. And then when they attack, they'll take our liberties and our freedoms. It's 101. Russia has moved more than 200 pilots in and 200 fighter bombers. They're battling al-Qaeda, known as ISIS right now. And the State Department has warned Russia of all-out war, UPI, AP, if they continue to battle al-Qaeda. Do I defend Russia? Have I ever been to Russia? Am I Slavic? No. But Russia's in the right. They're fighting al-Qaeda. Our government runs al-Qaeda. Truly sick. And now the Pope has come out and said Catholic churches across Europe, the same ones here in the U.S. that take the illegals in, that the feds ship in and give them vouchers, got to take in all the refugees of North Africa and Europe and got to integrate them into society while a large minority of them are ISIS sympathizers. Upwards of 30% of France now says they endorse ISIS in national polls. Because France is not French, it's Islamic. And the Pope and the rest of the establishment are backing the radical Islamicist. The Pope's also calling for carbon taxes and world government. Here's the epic moment we've reached. The legendary moment, the historical moment, the moment of decision. The collectivists, the globalists, the financial interests are making their move. World War III has begun. It's cultural. It's economic. It's medical. It's spiritual. It's a new kind of war. And it's on. Whether you are in Europe or the United States or Canada, the borders are wide open. The illegals are pouring in. They're being given the driver's license. They're allowed to vote. And they're getting freebies from the government. They're voting 90 plus percent socialist. Bernie Sanders leads Hillary in New Hampshire by nine points. This is the end game. You wanted to see the fall of America, the fall of Europe, you're going to see it now. And the globalists are going to sit in their billion dollar palaces above the law with their jet copters and their private jets as the rest of us live in absolute squalor. They're flooding the lifeboats that were Western Europe. They're flooding the lifeboats that was America. They took down Gaddafi that was building up Africa. They took down South Africa that was building up Africa. The globalists don't want prosperity. They want cloward and pivot on steroids. They want world government. They want Agenda 21. And they're getting it. And it hit me like a laser beam, like a diamond bullet, to quote Colonel Kurtz from Apocalypse Now. Last night, after I put my children to bed at about 9.30, after we had family over and barbecued, it hit me like a diamond bullet. And when we come back, I'll tell you what hit me. Straight ahead, but you're not going to have to wait for world government and tyranny and depression anymore. This is the beginning. If we wake up to it and say no to it, it'll dissipate. It'll, it'll, it'll lessen. But if we bow down to this political correctness and all the rest of it, we are captured. It's so outrageous. I'm Alex Jones, InfoWars.com is the site. I've talked about the basic problems that face humanity, and, and none of this is new. Everybody knows this deep down. I'm just speaking truth that everyone already knows, but truth they don't put out on the news. Or truth when they put it out is only limited to direct you towards an establishment goal. They'll speak the truth occasionally, but only to sell you on their agenda. So the end of what they do doesn't basically manifest what the ultimate goal should be. We don't have empathy. We don't have a sense of a great human continuum and living on through our progeny. That's been stolen from us. We've had our cultures taken from us. We've been raised by television. But last night at about 9.30 after I put my children to sleep, I sat back out there on the porch looking out into the stars. It was a very clear night. I could see the Milky Way galaxy. And it hit me. 
all the studies, all the research, all the admissions, the globalists like Bertrand Russell bragging in the 30s about how they would use vaccines to brain damage the public and make us servile.